Hey guys, welcome to our full moon in Sagittarius. We are officially at the halfway point in our new moon in Taurus cycle. We now have the sun and the moon lining up in direct opposition to each other. That is what gives us our full moon cycle each month. And that is why it marks the halfway point because we start our lunar cycle each month with any new moon when the sun and the moon come into an exact alignment to the degree with each other in whatever sign that the sun happens to be transiting. By the time that we get halfway through that cycle, the sun and the moon come into the exact oppositional point. This gives us our full moon energy. This is also an energetic climax, okay, of the month. This is sort of when energy is at its highest. This also makes sense because whenever we are kind of looking at astrological degrees, the earth is always in the polarity point to the sun. If the sun, whatever degree the sun is at, we look at that degree, whatever degree is exactly opposing that, that is the position of the earth as we mark it in astrology. And of course, when we have our full moon going on, the moon is also at that exact polarity point from the sun. And I find that to be interesting as well, because, you know, if you notice around a full moon, there's always, you know, people can be acting crazy. This is the time when people are more likely to be sort of like wiling out a little bit. Energy is just running high. And it's, you know, the moon, the lunar energies, this full exposure of the moon and the frequencies associated with that. And also the alignment of the moon with the earth that just tends to have this expansive energizing effect on what's going on on earth so that's what we're working with when we're working with any full moon this particular full moon you guys i feel like is actually kind of like a magical moon this whole month of june actually i feel like sort of has these magical flavors it's kind of like we're being sprinkled with some like cosmic stardust or something like that a lot of divine alignments and just very synchronistically like coming into play almost as if by some type of magical influence i feel like just experiences that we may be like having going on throughout the course of the entire month of June, both this full moon in Sagittarius and also the new moon in Gemini coming up. I feel like both sort of have this like magical flavor to them. And that is because let's talk about the this full moon, first of all. And if you watched my June report, if you guys caught that the other day, uh, that was my last video out. I did sort of like an outline of the month of June and I did talk about some of the features of our upcoming new moon in the sign of Gemini and why I feel like, you know, just a little bit of why that is one of these more just kind of like magical vibe type of moons that we have coming up. So, you know, we'll, of course, we'll be talking about that more as we get into that energy. But if you want a little um, preview of that moon, that was in that video that I put out last time. But anyways, this full moon is kind of a special full moon. And that to me is because both the ruler of the moon itself and the ruler of the position of the sun for the full moon, which of course on a full moon, the sun's position is very important as well because that is determining where the full moon is going to take place. And without the polarity of the sun and the moon, there is no full moon. So the ruler of the sun, the ruler of the moon, both in some very interesting aspects for this full moon is what I feel like is contributing to the sort of blessed magical nature of the full moon energy as it's playing out right now. So that being said, we're talking about a full moon in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is ruled by the planet Jupiter. Jupiter right now, as you guys know, if you've been following my channel, just finished as of yesterday, or actually depending on where in the world you are, this moon is happening. Hold on pause. I need to go back for a moment. I need to say this moon is happening on June 3rd into June 4th, 2023, depending on where you are in the world. It is happening at 342 universal time, which translates to 1142 PM Eastern time. So it's actually happening, you know, late at night, right before midnight on June 3rd, uh, where I am Eastern standard time, but depending on where you are in the world, you know, that could be different and you could be having this energy on June 4th. So this is one of those moons that is, um, depending on where you're at, it could either be on the third or it could be on the fourth. Also, in terms of the specifics of this energy, it's happening at this uh, opposition is happening at exactly 13 degrees, 18 minutes of Gemini and Sagittarius. 
For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. If you guys aren't aware of the Sabian symbols, that is something that we also do on this channel. The Sabian symbols are a group of symbols that describe the 360 degrees of the zodiac. Each degree has its own symbol. And I really like to use these Sabian symbols as an overlay in terms of the specific degree placements of the planets in the context of whatever aspect they're making. I feel like, you know, it just gives us an additional layer through which we can energetically um, translate what is transpiring during any type of activation. So, you know, we can look, for example, today, the full moon, we can look at the degree placements of the sun and the moon. We know the signs, we know the aspects that are going on, but because of the symbolism that is also present as a result of the Sabian symbols, we just have more information that we can use to try to get a better understanding of what this energy is potentially manifesting as for us. So I always look at the Sabian symbols and when we're reading Sabian symbols, we always round up a degree because we look at the wave of energy as it's coming in, as it's pulling in, as it's growing stronger and beginning to manifest, not as it's waning now, not as it's dissipating. So with that being said, this full moon happening at exactly 13 degrees, 18 minutes of the sign of Gemini and Sagittarius, we're going to be looking at the Sabian symbols for 14 Gemini, 14 Sag in the symbolic interpretation of this full moon energy. And that applies for any degree once it gets to the first minute of that degree. So, you know, for example, if there was a planet at exactly, let's just say one degrees, zero minutes, we would still use the Sabian symbol for one degree. But the minute that that planet hit one degree, one minute, okay, of whatever, you know, whatever degree, whatever sign, then we're going to look, we're going to round up and we're going to look at the next upwards um, degree in order to interpret the Sabian symbols. So that's my Sabian symbols uh, spiel. And so we're going to be looking at that as well. And I will tell you, you guys, just to sort of preface this report, you know, before we get into all of it, there is a majorly like telepathic vibe, okay, that is trying to come through right now. There is, I feel like sort of like a cosmic upgrade that is going on that is being represented by this cycle for those that are ready to attune to these frequencies in their own process of conscious evolution right now. But there is a huge, like, it's coming, like it's referenced, like it's a repeating pattern in this chart. Telepathy telepathic connection, being on the same wavelength, the same vibe, like the same frequency as somebody to the point where you just, you know where to be and when to be there. Like, you know what someone's about to say, like, you know that like someone want like reaching out to somebody, you know, pay attention to that type of thing. It is likely to be sort of like all over the human collective experience right now. And again, especially like for those people that are, you know, coming to the point in their conscious awakening where they're ready to match that frequency because that is going to be a feature the more we get into the age of Aquarius the more um, prominent this sort of telepathic tendency is going to become just like among the collective because this is it, it's like an extreme air age right and it's ruled by the planet Uranus Uranus has a lot to do with sort of just like like instantaneous knowing like things being connected on a frequency based level that happen just like uh, fl in a flash you know what I mean so very interesting and I guess that being said you know I should say just to get started the position of the Sun in Gemini which is ruled by Mercury right now one of the planets that we're going to be talking about today is at 14 degrees of Gemini. Like I said, the Sabian symbol for the full moon itself, 14 Sagittarius, the position of the sun in opposition to the moon, 14 Gemini. And that Sabian symbol is bridging physical space and social distinctions. Two men communicate telepathically. So in terms of like, you know, the symbolic placement of the sun today, like that is a very relevant theme that is coming through. And then just to sort of indicate this tendency, perhaps even more so Mercury, right? The planet that is ruling the position of the sun in Gemini is in a one degree or almost an exact, exact building conjunction to Uranus in the sky. Uranus and Mercury together, you guys, and if you have this uh, theme running through your chart, um, if you're familiar with this energy at all, it has a great tendency to lean towards telepathic tendencies, instantaneous knowing, sudden flash of insight, just 
all it, 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 it's this very um again like high speed frequency based mentalized energy that is able to tap into sort of the mental resonance okay of a greater whole we're talking about uranus ruling the sign of aquarius like this which is related on some levels to a collective energy and to a greater whole energy so not only through the sabian symbol uh symbolism that is coming through in this energy for our moon but also by the placement of the ruler of the sun in the sign of gemini which is also a sign about you know this very mental energy and communication and things going back and forth between people in the conjunction to uranus which is this like instantaneous like frequency based knowing perhaps going on back and forth between people that's just kind of like a fun little piece of the energy that is coming through right now and like i said you know as we are in this transitional process back to a state of I mean, we're, we're going into the age of Aquarius. This is a um, an age about self-knowledge and self-understanding and like enlightenment and self-mastery and stuff like that. Having a much better understanding of how this reality works and how to consciously navigate it to have a more conscious collaborative role in the creation of our own experiences. It's also an age of self-empowerment. Okay, which is also being indicated by Pluto's current transit through the sign of Aquarius right now, although Pluto is about to retrograde back into Capricorn. This is something that we're going to be talking about coming up here, but we're not talking about it now. For today and in this energy, there are just these themes of greater connectivity going on on a frequency based level that could be quite surprising shocking kind of coming out of nowhere switching things up for us opening our mind to something in some way providing some type of necessary insight or solution problem solving is very indicated by this but you know like i was saying i do feel like as we are transitioning into the age of aquarius right now like this is sort of one of the activations coming through that is helping helping in this process of conscious evolution on some levels you know moving us towards a greater collective immersement in that frequency so that being said if you feel like you know pay attention right pay attention if you feel something just coming to you out of nowhere you're not necessarily crazy like there's a strong likelihood that there is something behind it and that you are not wrong in this energy um this moon we're talking about a full moon in sagittarius you guys sag is ruled by jupiter this is the planet of truth this is the planet of wisdom this is the planet of expansion right and with mercury uranus in that alignment together there could definitely be some type of like profound awakening coming through that is really like opening our eyes about something um just creating some type of like dynamic change in the way that we are perceiving some type of situation there's a lot that is likely going to have to do also with like value and worth could be like money material possessions um also though like our own internal sense of like our own potential i feel like another major dynamic of this this moon is it's working to restore like this sense of understanding within us that so much more is possible than maybe we had allowed ourselves to think or believe in the past it's kind of returning a sense of hope or faith or optimism in the potential to create and expand in alignment with something that like really makes us feel alive or that we feel like is very authentic or like part of our true purpose this is like awakening people to their true purpose as well and sort of like clearing a path or providing a solution or a way to begin to move towards that to cultivate to develop okay so i've said a lot <laughs> let's kind of go back um the other major dynamic of this moon is being a sagittarius moon like i said ruled by jupiter jupiter is also in a very important place in the sky right now jupiter's in the sign of taurus in a conjunction to the north node we just wrapped up a five day jupiter north node conjunction jupiter north node in the sign of taurus this is a more historic aspect i've been talking about that as well lately also like this hasn't happened in almost 100 years where we've had this alignment come together in the sign of Taurus and it's ha it happened at a very important degree as well it happened at the Chiron point which is the point in the sky where Chiron was discovered and this has a lot to do honestly with helping us to finally like heal release 
or heal, overcome, and release ourselves from some long-standing soul wounds or some long-standing karmic cycles that may have been holding us back or preventing us from, in some way, perceiving our value or perceiving our worth or perceiving our own potential with the like mind state or the mindset that helped us to believe that we could actually do something with it. Redefining our reality, as I said in my June report that I put out in my last video, I feel like is also sort of a major theme that is coming through all of June and with this new moon is or with this full moon and moving into the new moon as well, where it's like some type of significant mental shift turning us back on to what it is we're made to do and then actually like being ready to go in that direction and the changes that will happen in our lives and in our physical world and in our you know our reality surrounding us as a result of that are going to be profound this is a jupiter north node alignment the north node is the destiny point this is like and with it's, it's so interesting because we're talking about a full moon in Sagittarius, the sun in Gemini. We're talking about Jupiter. We're talking about Mercury. We're talking about Mercury in a conjunction to Uranus, which is a future oriented planet. Uranus, the entire kind of like purpose of Uranus is to awaken us and keep us in alignment with our potential so that things can develop according to like authentic truth in alignment with like this unfolding cosmic blueprint. Uranus has a lot to do sort of with astrology. Uranus has a lot to do with the future and the potential now in the context of the future that is to come and making sure that things get aligned in a proper way through pretty much any means necessary to make sure that future comes true. That's what Uranus does. Uranus is the great rectifier. Uranus comes in when we can't make the changes for ourselves that we need to make in order such that the greater cosmic blueprint of our own natal chart can unfold in the way that is in the highest alignment with our soul's own personal evolution and growth. So a lot of times Uranus is like the tower crumbling and Uranus brings disturbances and sometimes even disasters and stuff like that. But it's usually in like accidents, but it's usually always in the context of a change that needs to be made for some greater purpose that is in alignment with some like aspect of our fate or destiny that for whatever reason we are unable to make for ourselves and then you know Uranus will come through but it's also silver lining energy and usually when we're dealing with Uranus it's like <laughs> down the road we realize that that thing that made us feel like our life was over was actually the best thing that could have ever happened to us because if it didn't happen like all of this stuff that came into being and came into alignment because of that one thing wouldn't have been able to happen when actually like all that stuff ended up what ended up being what put us in such a better place and made us feel so much more fulfilled or so much more alive or so much more in alignment with like what we know we're supposed to be doing so that's the year this energy coming through and when we've got mercury there like yeah like this could be some type of mercury is the me messenger planet some type of conversation or interaction or news or information or just a sudden awakening mercury and uranus this is epiphanies this is sudden flashes of insight this is downloads okay as well so Again, this is and this is in the sign of Taurus. So although we are dealing with a uh, Sagittarius, Gemini, full moon, what's going on in the sign of Taurus in your birth chart right now, you guys, is actually sort of the whole business because both rulers of Gemini and Sagittarius, which are the signs where this moon is happening, both of them are in the sign of Taurus. Both of them have big business going on related to the future and the proper future trajectory of events having an opportunity to play out. That being said, the other planet, the other aspect that we have going on with the ruler of our full moon, Jupiter, is in the conjunction to the North Node. Again, this is the destiny point. So, like, we've got on one hand, Uranus aligning our mind, doing what needs to be done by any means any means necessary in order so that we can like get our mind right in terms of what needs to happen next or so that we can get the proper information or the proper perspective or the proper even relationship or partnership dynamic going on that is helping us to what? Jupiter is growth. Jupiter is truth. Jupiter in the sign of Taurus, this is discovering true value and the potential of that to have like some type of expansive growth in a positive, successful, abundant direction. The North Node 
this is the destiny point, right? This is the next phase of growth. This is where we need to be. This is activating destiny based on the recognition of that potential and that value. So everything about this moon, and it's a full moon, and full moons illuminate things as well. This is a truth bringing moon, you guys. Um, some way, somehow, there's likely to be a message or an awakening to some type of truth that comes through this moon that turns something on within you that sparks a process of growth and creation in alignment with something that feels real, something that feels true, and also something that lights you up inside. I'm telling you, you guys, I, I really like this moon. People who also have mid-degree fire sign placements, you know, sun, moon, Venus, ascendant, mid degrees of fire signs like I feel like you guys are gonna have a really good time I feel like it's just gonna be a very like optimistic upbeat you know just fun vibe celebratory type of vibe going on we also have Mars in the sign of um Leo right now that is in a loose trine to the full moon in Sagittarius Sagittarius is also sort of like a fun loving energy and there's no real squares or there's no real like downer that's kind of coming through as a result or as as this as our full moon chart is playing out so I do feel like it should be quite especially like I said if you've got those mid-range degree fire signs this is just probably going to be like a very alive and invigorated time for everybody but specifically you know those with the mid degree range fire signs are probably going to have the best time but with Mars in the sign of Leo right now, kind of making that trine. I mean, Mars is at nine degrees of Leo for our full moon. The full moon is, of course, at 14 degrees. So this is a five degree orb, but it's close enough that I feel like it will be effective. Like sports, games, hiking, walking, biking, outdoor activities of any kind, dancing, like partying also. Just generally celebrating. A lot of people are going to be doing this stuff. A lot of people are going to be laughing. A lot of people are going to be just having like a very, I feel like, a great weekend overall. All also, because we're talking about the Gemini themes here, um, whining and dining, negotiating, okay, like courting the social dynamic, because this is happening in the sign of Taurus as well, a social dynamic of making financial deals, agreements, partnerships, very, very supporting. This is total supported. This is total like schmoozing vibes. You know what I mean? Like if you've got to make a good impression on somebody, you guys, because you need to like make a sale or make a deal or a negotiation along financial lines based on something that you've been working on that you're really passionate about or that you really like it's like your baby or something like that this is a really good time to do it you can make a very good positive impact on you know just that that on the social scene on a social setting on any type of like um like, like, like I said, social dynamic of those more like negotiated deal oriented type of stuff. So if you got to go play golf with somebody to like cut a deal or something like that, or, you know, that as a metaphor for some other type of negotiating, this is a very good weekend to get that done. You will probably have some good results. And another thing about this full moon in the sign of Sagittarius, especially considering what's to come. Here's another thing that I want to say. <clears throat> Pay attention to what people are saying and what people are telling you as this full moon unfolds because people are generally going to be being quite honest and quite transparent about things right now. Although this is not going to continue throughout the like building into and throughout the new moon in the sign of Gemini. We have very strong energy right now for the truth for people being in alignment and speaking their authentic truth with mercury in a conjunction to uranus and the full moon in sagittarius and also even jupiter at the north node and stuff like that but moving towards the new moon that we have coming up in the sign the new moon in gemini okay the sun this new moon is actually going to be in a square to neptune and the sun's going to come into a square to neptune as well so there is going to be a distortion that enters the mental field coming up here over this next couple of weeks and we want to pay attention okay I'm telling you guys in advance pay attention to people's admissions and disclosures and their basic attitudes and sort of their like um their transparency about things right now in this energy because moving into the new moon in Gemini people could be changing their story or like trying to like make things seem sort of better than they are or like over promising as well um, or even sort of like denying the truths that may have surfaced 
or been illuminated or revealed somehow in the energy of this full moon. So we just want to pay attention. People could sort of be like changing their tune coming up a little bit here over this next couple of weeks. And I would say that if you are questioning, you know, come, you know, the next two or three weeks or so, you know, if somebody was saying one thing and then all of a sudden they're saying something else, I would say that this current version that we're in right now is probably the one that is closer to reality, closer to the truth. So just something you guys to, um, to keep in mind as this moon hits and people are kind of an open book about stuff, <laughs> Gemini, Sagittarius, um, but moving, you know, more towards the new moon, like I said, with this big Neptune square coming in that distorts the informational field and it can uh, bring up a tendency to just lack a degree of straightforwardness, clarity, or honesty. So keeping that in mind. Now, of course, like I said, you know, this is, <laughs> like I said multiple times, this is a full moon, Gemini, Sagittarius. So we're going to have, you know, all of the Gemini themes, options, choices, decisions, multiples, sets of things, okay, twins, polarities as well, dualities, oppositions, a need to balance things, sort of sets of twos. We could, you know, this could be like uh, themes that are coming up for us that are playing out for us somehow. Mercury is the messenger. Mercury brings news. Jupiter is truth. Jupiter is wisdom. Jupiter is expansion. So this is a moon all about bringing information and in an expansive way that is expanding our mind somehow in the sign of Taurus. Taurus, both of these rulers in the sign of Taurus. Again, we were talking a lot about Taurus and Taurus themes lately. Value, worth, growth, creative potential, assets, resources, things to do with money, stuff like that. And both, you know, in alignment with Uranus and the North Node, these very future oriented energies trying to move us forward somehow. Um, in a necessary and beneficial direction of growth. Awakening. <laughs> It's a very simple concept, the way that this energy is presenting, but it's also like so significant. Awakening, some type of an awakening to something of true value that is promoting some type of necessary expansive growth. That's, I feel like, what all of this sort of boils down to. And simultaneously, as I said, this energy is also activating these enhanced telepathic tendencies, um, especially, you know, if I, we're at that point in this conscious awakening where we're in tune with that type of thing, when we are, um, when we can resonate to that frequency. So that as well, again, um, Mercury and Uranus together <laughs> with the Jupiter influence as well. Sudden flashes of insight, instantaneous knowing, epiphanies. This is awesome energy, you guys. I feel like for figuring things out, getting solutions, making choices, making decisions, figuring out what we're going to do, making deals as well. There's a lot of financial support going on right now in terms of, you know, Jupiter just being in the sign of Taurus with the North Node generally. Again, Jupiter and the North Node together ruling the position of the moon while the moon is in the sign with Mars. We don't don't want to be taking things over the top. We don't want to be careless in a way that is not good for us, that is like excessive. We don't want to be like overly excessive, okay? We want to try our best to like maintain moderation in the midst of some energy that might just really have us kind of like fired up and um, enthusiastic and really wanting to like, you know, do the most, okay? Like I said, this is sort of, this is like the let the good times roll life of the party type of energy, especially with the trine of Mars and Leo coming through. So the North Node, Jupiter, the North Node is also known as the head of the dragon, you guys. This can also be an energy that is very like seductive and it, like uncontrollable in like our compulsion towards it. And with Jupiter there, this can kind of just like expand that tendency or make things seem like they're sort of a bit like out of our control if we are not exercising like moderation and a level of self-control in whatever is going on. So we kind of want to try our best to stay grounded, right? This is, we are in Gemini season. This is known as a more ungrounded energy. So doing what we can to stay grounded, but also allowing ourselves to have a good time. Um, 
that's what I'm recommending for this full moon. Awakening to our own blessings. This is also another theme that could be coming through with this moon. Gratitude, I also feel like is a huge and important part of this vibe with it being the Sagittarius moon and with Jupiter being in this divine alignment right now, sort of seeing how blessed we really truly are and also gaining that acknowledgement or that recognition of what our potential truly is. And then as a result of that, both sort of like our gratitude and our acknowledgement and hope of this potential that we're discovering also being expanded and growing in this energy as well unlocking an abundance of potential and possibilities extremely creative summer you guys we have coming up this is an extremely creative month as well and the question really is you know what are we going to do with it what are we going to build with it what are we going to move forward with you know what are we going to tap into and begin to really grow and develop right now jupiter and the north node together in the sign of taurus this is a new phase of exponential growth in one way or another that is happening in a way that is in alignment with how things need to unfold in the context of the cosmic blueprint to create this transition into the age of Aquarius right now and make sure that we learn all the lessons we need to learn in order to evolve consciously and on a frequency based level enough to match and embody resonate with the new frequencies coming in so that we can become a reflection of that here physically in our reality on earth and that over time is how we make the energetic switch and transition into the age of Aquarius. That's the process of the Great Awakening. It happens on a frequency-based level. It hits us incrementally over time and we adjust to frequency changes and we expand and before we know it, we've essentially changed the nature of our, our paradigm. So that is that is the trajectory right now, you guys, with Mercury conjunct Uranus. This also is the season. We are in the season right now of shocks and surprises. Expect the unexpected, getting hit out of nowhere with something that just blows your mind. This next couple of weeks, couple of months, Jupiter is going to be moving into a conjunction with Uranus. And this is also going to be uh, a, a very expanded period of expect the unexpected energy. So we're just kind of in that over the rest actually of this 2023. But with Jupiter in regards to, you know, this is growth. This is forward movement and expansion of potential, expanding our mind, our energetic ability to connect to the mental fields of others as well. Huge resonance principles playing out, mind blowing insight, answers, sudden awareness, sudden and changes to plans or to projects. Super fast paced energy as well, uh, especially on the mentalized level, mind, ideas, synapses, connections, things happening, things happening quickly that lead to some type of unexpected momentum or unexpected positive growth somehow. So that is what we have uh, playing out. That is my interpretation you guys of this full moon energy and of what things are likely to be looking like for us again I do feel like these are this month of June with this full moon in Sag while we've got Mercury conjunct Uranus and the north node conjunct Taurus like I mean the north node and Jupiter conjunct this to me is divinely aligned like magical things coming into fruition to help forward progress in a positive direction and moving through to the new moon that is coming up that's going to be in an exact opposition to the galactic center which is also like just this magical energy that is helping to bring things into manifestation and creation. So we're getting sprinkled with stardust this month of June, you guys. Let's make the most of it. I do feel like this is going to be a, um, a nice positive like uh, landing, okay, after all of the intensity that we went through <laughs> this past um, this past lunar cycle. So that's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna grab us a synchronicity card now, you guys. God, spirit, universe. What is a piece of guidance, advice, something that we should keep in mind, maybe a little mantra that we should stay focused on as this energy unfolds throughout the course of this month. Again, um, the only real caution or red flag here is not taking things over the top, not being too wild, you know, not letting ourselves get out of control with this expansive Jupiter energy because Jupiter lacks boundaries, lacks borders. It's just all, you know, out there. So we do want to just make sure that we are keeping ourselves regulated.
And the message that we got says, bless them and walk on. So this is also letting us know this is a cycle to be self-focused and to not use our energy to try to like interfere with anybody else's situation that they've got going on, okay, as this month unfolds, whether or not we happen to agree with it, okay? Bless the men, walk on. The words of a talebearer are as wounds and they go down into the innermost parts of the belly. Proverbs 26, 22. You can see through the darkness of another's mind. You are not responsible for their negative thinking and you cannot change their mind. Do not get involved, bless them and walk on. So, you know, in the context of what may be going on and the magical things, the positive things that we may be experiencing throughout the course of the cycle, we don't want to get involved in or get attached to anybody's negative ego projection or anybody's inability to see the truth of their own potential okay we are not trying to convince anybody else of anything in this energy it's our job throughout the course of this cycle to find what's real and find what's true and find what's valuable and find what's meaningful and find what's inspiring to us on the internal level and to follow that and to go after that and if we do that universe is going to bring people places situations to our lives as if by magic that are supportive of our process, of our, our developmental process in alignment with these things that we're discovering within us. What we don't wanna do is involve ourselves in anybody else's lack of ability to do this, okay? Because, you know, things happen at the right time for everybody and we're on a hero's journey this year you guys as well you know this 2023 year has a lot to do with the chiron themes collectively and transmuting as a part of this process also you know being able to transmute and detach ourselves from these soul wounds and from these karmic patterns of the past sort of how i started this video talking about this jupiter north node conjunction at the chiron point and what that energy has been doing for us this is a this this is an independent pursuit back into alignment with authentic truth and our personal power. And it, it's this card is telling us as we go throughout the course of this next couple of weeks, we should not be, we need to be self focused on that journey, on that role that we are playing in and of and within ourselves, and not in any way trying to interfere with anybody else's situation going on. The best way, and I'll tell you guys also, with this Jupiter Chiron point North Node energy, the best way truly that we can help anybody else is through our own example. Now, not to say that everybody's going to love, you know, us for being that example, but you know, because a lot of times, and this is also a very projecting energy, you know, a lot of times, when you do start living in your truth and when you do start leading by example, a lot of people will sort of be turned off by that because they will start projecting their own internal senses of insecurity and inadequacy and stuff like that on you because, you know, deep within their heart, they know that that's what they should be doing and they know that, you know, they wish they could do that or like this, that or the other, but they haven't come to the point yet where they've, you know, taken back their power and actually done it. So they kind of make excuses and therefore as a result, like how dare you have the audacity to be, you know, living that reality, you know what I mean? So it can turn people off and it can, um, you know, initially make people sort of be angry and project and like run away and stuff like that. But ultimately it's still turning on a light inside. It's still creating an irritation that will lead to some type of inspiration that will have a productive or a beneficial impact somehow on that person. So, you know, regardless of people's initial reaction to you standing in your truth, don't take that as an indication of what is actually happening or what is actually going on because, you know, through triggering people, People in that way that is still creating like an inspiring force that is propelling towards growth and to movement and in some way or another so whether people are having a positive or negative effect to your own journey towards growth it's ultimately positive for them in the end anyways but i guess that was just my long way of saying that the best way that we can help anybody else in this energy is by making the changes for ourselves standing in our power not allowing ourselves to be persuaded or demeaned or talked out of what we know is right for us whether anybody likes it or not and you know as a result of that the impact that we're actually having is 
more significant than just the transformational effect that is having like in and of our own selves. That's also how we help other people to begin the process of, you know, going through that situation themselves as well. So that's what I have to say today, you guys. I'm going to stop talking now. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you liked the video. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Share it with your friends if you think that they would be interested in this type of astrology content too. You guys, um, leave me comments. I love your comments. I appreciate all of you. I'm so grateful for all of you. Thank you so much for being here. I know every time is super valuable and I just means a lot to me that you guys spend some of your time with me. And if you are having experiences that line up with what I'm talking about, please let me know in the comment section below. Because like I said, I appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And I really love to hear from you guys. So thank you again. Um, I also have a Facebook page, a Facebook group where I post what's on this whiteboard back here if you want to see that more closely and in more detail. Um, and an Instagram, some other stuff in my description box below. We got a lot more to talk about in the energy this week. You guys come back with me. I'll be here to talk about it. You should be here too. You don't want to miss it. I'll see you then guys. Have a beautiful weekend have a beautiful full moon. I have a feeling most of you will and I will see you then. Bye guys.